program that uh, I particularly enjoy. It's another edition of What's on Tracy's Mind, the 2016 version, new and improved. New Take and it improved. Over, Tracy. Okay, there's a few things on my mind today, and I have to say we're going to start off with this one. There was a gentleman by the name of Danny who was flying home to Phoenix to propose to his girlfriend, but bad weather and heavy holiday travel stranded him at Chicago's airport for 50 hours, okay? 50 hours? 50 hours. That's crazy. At that point, he decided that he had had enough, and he sent his girlfriend, now this is where my blood's boiling right now, (laughs) he sent his girlfriend a picture of the ring and asked her to marry him on Facebook messaging. No, are you kidding me? Yeah, so I posted on her Facebook. So, like, it's seriously, like, if you look, there is, yes, the thing is, marry me. Took me hours to pick out the ring, and she's like, oh, my God, you serious? Baby, yes. Oh, I'm (laughs) bawling my eyes out right now. OMG. I love you, baby. I love you. So now we're texting Facebook proposals. Are you kidding? If somebody proposed to me over a uh, a text message or Facebook or something? Yeah. No. If he's that impatient just to do that, to do it on yeah. Facebook, you have gonna... fun planning that wedding. Or living with the guy. Yeah. What the vows are going to be, everybody, please go to the group chat located at, and, and we're going to text our vows. I don't know. I saw this. And That's brutal. I was like, I can't believe. Oh, they could get married in two separate, chur- uh, two separate churches. Yeah. Like, it just. That is brutal. I I saw this and I'm like, are you kidding me? And and she thinks that that's special. Well, hey, takes all kinds. I mean, uh, I wonder what sure kind of special. photo. Yeah, I wonder what kind of photo <laughs> followed the ring picture. Takes all kinds. Yes. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that you can tell. I I was really mad about that because like that's setting the standard for men to realize that it's okay to be lazy. <laughs> Like, don't put any effort into it. Like, God forbid you put effort into a relationship. Just text a message of a ring and say, baby, will you marry me? OMG, I'm bawling my eyes out. Yeah, surprise is on her when she finds out that ring was only a picture. Guys of this generation <laughs> yeah. are goofballs. I don't know. How old is this guy? Is this I don't know. It didn't okay, say. It Anyways, he got me mad on that one. The other one is Twitter is thinking about making some big changes, and reports are saying that Twitter is thinking of expanding their 140 character limit to 10,000. Yeah, why do you go from 140 to 10,000? Yeah. I heard about that. That, and and people are saying that's is that a joke? Seriously, no, they're saying maybe for uh, real? by the end toward the end of March. Now here's the thing: I just got caught up on my LOLs and my OMGs and what it all stood <laughs> for. Like I right. just figured out that they're short forms and emoticons yes, and all of that. Yeah, and how to do it. But now they're saying 10,000. So for me, I'm thinking, like, is this Twitter of, hey, I'm here and I'm there and look at this, look at that, in 140 characters to Dear Diary? I got to tell you, I don't Twitter. I just don't. You don't tweet? No, I don't tweet. I tweet. Do you tweet? I don't tweet. I don't know why I don't. I just. Twitter? It's probably because I can't say anything. I can't say hello in less Uh, than 100. It's instantaneous. In less than 10,000 characters. But, like, you can get updates right away. Uh, you, you can get the news, like, anything that's breaking, or if you follow, like, I follow sports, so I can yeah. get breaking news right away. So, 10,000. So, we are becoming emotionalists. We are becoming stupider. And do you really need, <laughs> and do you really need that much more room to misspell crap? There you yes. Go. So, now, like, this is going to totally mess me up. LOL. OMG. OMG. I D K. I don't know. All right, I don't know. L M A O. L M A O. My my yeah. favorite's always been uh, you know W T V uh, W T F. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Nice one, Jerry. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, lastly, I was uh, on the net, and I like to see trends and what's happening, and kind of be ahead of the trends. And um, this is more of like a public service announcement to all women out there. All ears, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. This season, this is what's trending for makeup for spring two thousand sixteen. Blue eyeshadow is making a comeback. I've started to see it happen. Like elect- I'm not talking like baby blue, frosty blue, electric blue. So it's um, electric blue, um, glitter, and false eyelashes. So basically, the new trend for spring is Mimi from Drew Carey. <laughs> I was just, that's exactly where I was going to go with that. You beat me to it. Good like, on you. Wow. Could the you Mimi imagine look. peeling off those fake lashes and the sparkles? 
You gotta stay away from things. Don't get me sparkle. started on sparkles or bandos from my house because I'm tired of picking them up and them getting all over me. Yeah, all the like anyway. so. The, so the basically the the theme song for spring is. <laughs> yeah. So ladies, no electric blue eyeshadow. When I saw that, I'm like, are are you kidding me? So what's in wow. Tracy's mind is everything from engagements, since everybody decides to get engaged over the holidays, I guess. Um, Twitter. And electric blue eyeshadow. There you go. Thank you very much, Tracy. We look forward to this segment next week. We've reached a point in the program.